Welcome to the second tutorial of Best Robotics Programming, where today we're going to be going over installing all the different types of programs needed to program your VEX robot. So to start off, we're going to use Robot C since it's the easiest to install. You just want to go to their website, robotc.net, and just click on the current version, exe. Click Save, and I'm going to click Open when done, and we'll just wait until that finishes. Okay, now that that's done, you're going to want to click yes, and it will finish the installation process. You're going to want to click next, accept the terms and conditions. Next. Next. Install. Okay, after a while, it will come up with this one. You want to click install. All I have to do is click finish. So now if you look at your desktop, you will have two different versions, and there is the normal version and the graphical version. For both the tutorials, we're going to be going over the normal version, and it's practically the same as the graphical. For this, you don't actually need to install any add-ons. It's already perfectly set up. You just click on New File, and you're ready to start programming. Now for installing Simulink. Simulink can be a bit more tricky. So first of all, you're going to go to... For this year, it's National Registry. It might be a different location, but you're going to want to log in. Then you're going to go to your workflow and scroll down until you get to your team software license. This could also be in the file manager on Best Robotics, their website. Here you can also get some uh, sample programs for different software. So on the team workflow page, you're going to want to go to MathWorks, which is Simulink, and you're going to request software. Now that you're on this screen, you're going to go down to the request software button down here. And you're going to click request software form. Next, you're going to want to enter your email address. And then you're going to either create your account or log into a pre-existing MathWorks account. Okay, next you want to fill out all this stuff and then submit the form. Then shortly after that, you'll get an email confirmation from them and you will have your Simulink key. So once you get that, you want to go to my account up at the top right and you're going to see your license number down here along with the label. So for me, it's 2020 Best Robotics. You are going to click on download right here and you'll get the latest version of Math MathWorks Simulink. So you want to just click on it, it to install. You want to click on Windows or Mac OS or Linux if you have those systems. Click Save again. Click Open when done and wait for it to install. Okay, once that's done, a extractor window will pop up and it will extract the contents of the zip. Okay, once it's finished extracting, you'll want to click Yes to install. The MATLAB window should pop up. All right installation will look like this. You want to log in with the account you just created. Okay, you want to read and accept the license agreement. You're going to want to select the key that you already selected or if you didn't select this in the first step, you want to enter the activation key. Next, you want to select the installation folder. Next, you want to select which products you're going to want. And so really you don't need all of these, but just because it's easier, we're just going to select all of them. That way you don't have to go through the headache of having to install different add-ons later. You can add a shortcut to the desktop. It's just confirmation, and you can begin the install. This is going to take anywhere from one to two hours, depending on how fast your internet is. This will take quite a long time. So I already have it installed, so I'm just going to skip over this step. Okay, now once it's finished installing, you should be able to open up MATLAB. So for right now, you're going to want to go to your add-ons, and you want to click Get Add-ons. Pop up with the add-on explorer. All you really need is the VEX Robotics library, so just search VEX. And it's this one right here. The Simulink Coder Support Package for ARM Cortex-based VEX microcontroller. I already have this one installed. You would just click install right here on the side. This will allow you to program and write code for the VEX Cortex. So to begin writing code, you're going to want to go here to home and click on Simulink. 
this will open up the simulink window uh, you're gonna want to just click blank bottle or you can use the sample templates from best robotics that are on their website this will pop up your simulink window and you will be able to open up the library from here and this will give you a list of all the different blocks and you can start putting blocks onto the screen. Or alternatively, you can always double click and then you can type in what block you want. So for example, add. That's the basics of how to install and use all of the Simulink. And just to make sure that you have VEX installed properly, go to your library and scroll down to, okay, so it's right here. It's called the Simulink Coder Support Package and you're gonna wanna just verify that it has all these. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you understood this tutorial well, and I'll see you next time. Make sure to leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can.